Hello everybody and welcome back to a Scratch tutorial. My name is Lena and I'm here with Ape Tech Tutorials. Uh, today we're going to be using the project that we built on the last session, in which was the piano, and we're going to give it a physical animation. So we're going to be incorporating the Makey Makey to be actually be able to physically touch it and play our piano. Now I'll stick around if you guys are interested in into that, and uh, don't forget to like us, comment, and subscribe to our channel. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our demo. So this is how we created a little version of the piano that we created in Scratch. We made it out of cardboard and uh, more cover here. We have aluminum paper on the bottom so that we can do the conductive uh, between the wires and the actual connection on the back over here on the Makey Makey. So if, as you can see, we have alligator clips that are connected to each key that then go to a specific input on the Makey Makey here. So for example, this this one this one goes all the way here to this A input over here. And then we have our ground. This big line of, of aluminum paper here, what this basically is, this is our ground. So our ground is connected right here in the middle. And it doesn't matter where you connect it as long as you connect it to the actual circuit. And I'll explain this more in a drawing later. But let's go ahead and give you the demo. So if you press on it, you can hear it on my computer over here. Put all the volume up. So as long as I press it on the key over here, you'll be able to hear the, the actual input. And it's a little buggy because I did it a, I did a quick uh, kind of a build. I wanted to get this out for you guys. But that's it. So just uh, you can do also using play-doh, bananas, spoons, anything that's conductive you can make your own thing. You don't have to build something like this but we'll show you how we built it for for your own reference. <laughs> So the difficulty of this program is beginners, for those of you who are going to be using your keyboard on your computer. And I recommend that for those of you who do not have a Makey Makey or would just like to get your feet wet. And then it will be a medium for those of you who are using the Makey Makey, depending on your comfort of uh, that you have with the Makey Makey, because you'll be using uh, circuits to be able to connect to this device. Now the estimated time is 15, less than 15 minutes for the code because you're only going to be modifying what you currently have but it's going to take you a little longer to connect the Makey Makey and if you want to it's going to take a while to create an actual uh, device like I did like a little keyboard or you can use anything around the house like uh, Play-Doh anything that's conductive to be as used as your keys and you just be able to just connect that to the Makey Makey now here are the skills you will be learning today. You're going to learn how to get a copy of a current project that you have and make a copy of that so you'll be able to modify it. Then you'll also be learning how to use the music extension like we did in the previous. And then we were going to use the Makey Makey extension. This will be done in three steps. Step number one, you're going to make a copy of your project that we did before. Step number two, we're going to exchange all the control blocks that we had on a previous project for the Makey Makey uh, extension block. And then finally, we're going to connect it to our Makey Makey and test it. Step number one, let's go ahead and copy our previous project. So now with the project open on Scratch, go ahead and go see inside of it. And now that we're inside of it, this is a project that we created on the previous episode. And go to File save as a copy and what is it going to do is going to rename it to whatever you have it here and then copy and there you'll know that you have a copy because it says copy on there so you can change it to whatever you want I'm going to change it to uh, Makey 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 Piano step number two let's go ahead and change all of our control blocks to the Makey Makey. 
And in this step, I'm going to show you how to add the Makey Makey extension. All right, so now that we added our, I uh, made a copy of our project, the next thing to do is to go ahead and add the, the extension for the Makey Makey. So if you click on that bottom left corner, this, oh, this everything here will pop up. Now just go and find the Makey Makey extension. And this is what you'll be looking at. You'll see these as your keys. And you'll also see this here down here that says Makey Makey. Once you have that, what we're going to do is we're going to go through each single one of our keys here that we created. And we'll be replacing these uh, when this sprite is click with the specific uh, key on the Makey Makey. So we're going to remove this. And the Makey Makey on the back of it starts with the, the letter W. So it has the letters on the keyboard. So you can use the, the letters here and then connect them to your actual uh, Makey Makey later. So let's go ahead and change all those to this uh, specific um, block. So this is what it basically does. It says when I click the W, when this W, the letter W is click, play the instrument piano and play that note. That's all it does. So we're going to do that to the rest of the keys. And the order of the key of the specific letter you choose is up to you. I'm just basically don't going down the stri strip on the back and choosing the letters as they are on that, in on that input section. But the order depends on whatever you guys want to do. And for my last two keys, I'll be using the up and down arrow. So there you have it. Now you've incorporated the Makey Makey and you should be able to connect the Makey Makey to it. So for those of you who don't have a Makey Makey, you can go ahead and test your piano by using the actual keyboard on your computer. And the way you test it is you go with these letters that you chose for your Makey Makey. The, the actual letters that you chose there and just play the song you want to play. And there you go. And finally, step number three, let's go ahead and connect all the wires to our Makey Makey. So here, as you guys can see, I'm going to show you how to connect the keys for the uh, keyboard that I made from the demo that you guys saw. The gray stuff here is just the aluminum paper. So this is the back side of the keys, the part that you cannot see. So what I did is I added aluminum paper to a portion of the key. And it doesn't matter how much you add to it as long as it's, it's not touching unless you press it and here's more so I did that to every single key including the little black ones and I added a spacer between the key and the actual cardboard so we would be able to have kind of like a pressing ability now let's go ahead and look at the board itself so the cardboard that you guys saw was connected like this we had a long strip of aluminum paper and this little strips that went up so the the long one is for the big keys and the little ones is for the black keys because our our big keys go all the way down so when we press them the back of that key is going to touch here and create the contact and, and close the circuit so that would allow us to go ahead and do the sound so this is how our mic board looked and uh, this wire here is representing the connection to the ground so this whole thing is has to be grounded by with the board. So this is how it goes. This is how we, we start the circuit right here. Now this next image is going to show us everything. Now I color coded it here just for your purposes. I didn't have wires that I could color code on my end for the demo. But this is how, how I did it. So again, here's the ground wire. Here are all the keys, including the black ones. And all you do is connect a alligator clip to that specific key, then take it back to the input. So for example, this would be the W input here to this key, and then the A input to this other key, and so on. And then we continue connecting all the keys to those inputs. 
And that's it, guys. That's uh, how you connect it. It's a simple connection. It just looks more complicated than it is, but it's not. It's just basically making sure you connect all those inputs here to the specific key that you need. And if you guys want to see me build it, please let me know. I can show you guys how to build it. But again, for those who want a more simple way of using your keyboard or instrument, you can go ahead and use anything that's conducted at home, like bananas, spoons. I mean, you could use Play-Doh too, which is will be pretty cool for the kids or for yourself too. And uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for joining us today. Today we taught you guys how to change a specific project you had to be able to use your Makey Makey as your input. And for those of you who didn't have a Makey Makey, we taught you guys how to use a keyboard. So um, go and explore, do your own thing with it, and uh, just uh, link your projects in the comments below, and we'll check them out. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.